Hello, I'm here on Church Street on this very busy Thursday afternoon. It's a real busy day. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of noise, a lot of buskers. So bear with me. The message Joe Owens brings to the good people of Liverpool, the awful truth as I refer to it, is being ignored by the politicians, journalists, super scousers, whoever. They are ignoring the awful truth. They don't want to deal with what is happening to our city. They don't want to deal with the cultural transformation now underway. They believe just by ignoring it, it'll go away and everyone will just chain a notice to Jones and it'll all go away. Well, the more you ignore the awful truth as I refer to it, the louder my voice will become. The more and more support will grow because people can see what is happening to their city and they don't like it. There's a busker behind me, you have to just bear with me. People can see what's happening. No more cockney sparrows fly over London and we know why. London has been culturally changed, changed into a completely different city. Our once proud, unique capital city has now been changed into something completely different. Everyone is aware of that, especially the Liverpool fans who travel to Wembley on Sunday to watch Liverpool beat Chelsea. They will be only too well aware as to what has now happened to them parts of London. They have been changed. They are no longer London. The same now is happening to our glorious city and we must oppose it. The politicians... MPs, those that work and live in London at times, they are only too well aware of what has happened to London, yet they are silent, in fact, aiding and abetting what is happening to our glorious city. They are turning a blind eye. They don't want to address the awful truth. They don't want to deal with the worries and concerns facing the people of Liverpool. Therefore, I feel the need to come down and bring this message to the good people of this city, my fellow Scousers. I feel the need to come down. Because if I don't, no one else will. And if no one else will, cultural change will sweep across our city unopposed. The change is here, ladies and gentlemen. It's in my video as I turn it round. You can see it. The change is here. Politicians who work and live in London at times, they know only too well what has happened to London because of cultural change. Yet, they are remaining silent as our city undergoes the same fate, the same transformation. It is wrong. You, Ian Byrne, you know quite well what has happened to London. It's not been for the best. It's been for the worst. The Cockney now is a rare sight. No more Cockney sparrows fly over London. London has been culturally changed, ladies and gentlemen. And so, once again, I feel the need to bring this message, the awful truth, to the good people of Liverpool. My lovely Scouse fam, at least you know you've got Joe Owens in your corner. Joe Owens will not abandon you. Joe Owens will not get bored of this. Joe Owens isn't going to give up and go home. It's not happening, right? I'm here for you, the good people of Liverpool, because no one else is. been walking around the city centre for several hours now and the cultural change like I say 
it's all around you, you can't miss it. It's not me making this up. It is real and present. Yet, politicians, journalists, super scouts, those I criticise are all remaining silent. But the more you ignore the cultural transformation that is happening to our city, the more and more you ignore Joe Owens, who is bringing this message to the good people of Liverpool, like I've said, the louder my voice will become. Right. I don't know, our city, it's turning, it's turning into, I don't know. I don't know where it represents now, the Indian subcontinent, the Middle East. It is hard to determine because so many are coming in, so many different ways, beliefs, values, standards, cultures, that it, it, it's hard to see what direction our city is going in, right? It is very, very hard to see what direction it's going in. It's going to end up like London, where London now is soulless, right? It's lost its soul. It's lost its unique cockney character, its cockney status. It has been removed and replaced by something completely different. We can't and must not allow this to happen to our glorious city. Our scout's inheritance belongs to the good people of this city, right? It belongs to our children and grandchildren. Our unique scout's character, traditions, cultural identity is priceless. You can't replace it change it. If it's changed, it ends up like London. London now is not a Cockney city in the true sense of the word. And everyone knows that you politicians that work and live there, you know it more than anyone. Yet, you remain silent as our city undergoes the same transformation. You remain silent. Well, thankfully, the good people of Liverpool, they've got Jones in their corner. And I'm not about to abandon them, ever. I am here for the good people of this city, because if I don't, no one else will. And if no one else will, we're going to lose our glorious city. Right? Not we may, we will. We will lose our glorious city and it will end up like London. A soulless city that has lost its unique character, traditions and cultural identity. That's what has happened, ladies and gentlemen. It has been changed. It has been taken from the good people of London. And that's why it's imperative in the forthcoming general election, the good people of Wavers should get out and vote for Joe Owens. And let's put a stop to any further cultural change our glorious city is undergoing before we suffer the same fate as London, Birmingham, Leicester and many other towns and cities across the country who took their eye off the ball and didn't have a Joe Owens in their corner. Get out and vote for Joe Owens and remember, no to cultural change. Yes to Scouse Pride. Shout it out loud, Scouse and Proud.